Some Indiana lawmakers are pushing for a statewide smoking ban just in time for the Super Bowl in February. News Channel 18's Kristen Mayorano has been following the story today. Kristen, do lawmakers actually think that it's going to pass, though, in time? Well, Jeff, it depends on what version of the bill you're talking about. State Senator Ron Alting says state legislators have been trying to pass a smoking ban for years, but historically it's been unable to pass without certain exemptions. Lawmakers and their constituents both seem to have mixed views on the subject. At Hunter's Pub Down Under in downtown Lafayette, a lit cigarette is hardly a rare sight. When the west side went completely non-smoking, people started coming over to this side of the river to smoke in general. As a bartender and a smoker himself, Troy Pugsley says news of a possible statewide smoking ban gets him talking. He believes a ban could affect business at Hunter's, and he's an advocate of choice. People know that it's bad for them, but we choose to do it anyway. And that, I think we should also, you should be allowed to make that choice, and we shouldn't have to, like, you know, hide in a closet under a blanket in our basements. But patrons here at Hunters may not have to put the ashtray down just yet. State Senator Ron Alting says if the legislation does pass, it will likely have several exemptions this time around. The casinos, the bars, some nursing homes, uh, clubs such as the American Legion, VFW, and so on. Alting says he supports a ban on smoking everywhere throughout the state, but without these exemptions, the legislation just won't have enough votes to pass the Indiana House and Senate. State Representative Sheila Klinker says she plans to survey her constituents on the issue, but historically she's seen support for a statewide ban on smoking. Many people uh, overwhelmingly have wanted a complete smoking ban in the state, even though uh, Many of the folks who answered that happened to be smokers. The lawmakers return to the State House on January 4th. That gives them just over a month until the Super Bowl comes to Indianapolis on February 5th. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.